What's up, people? How you doing? My name's Sean. This is Dam for another week. Wow, Friday and today. Wow, it's like uh, I'm I'm really getting back into the YouTube shit, and I am. <clears throat> I like uh, I like YouTube. YouTube is very special to me, um, which I need to work out a better way to juggle all my channels, uh, and I think I'm doing okay. I have another channel that uh, means quite a lot to me that uh, I think I've only got three videos on. It's called Video Tapered, and it's a channel dedicated to um, video essays on, on film. Film. And so I would urge you to check it out. Uh, and it might uh, persuade me into doing more video essays. Now this video uh, is just a stepping stone to what I did over the weekend. So I will uh, fill you in on what you're about to see and you're going to see it. It's the way this works. It's like a clip show with clips. So you're about to see a montage of uh, the start of the day yesterday, on Sunday, in, uh, in Newcastle, there were two shops doing two types of fandoms. One fandom I aren't familiar with, that's probably the most best way I can describe it. Uh, it is Harry Potter. There's a store in uh, Swansea? Swansea, I think it is Swansea. That it's a uh, it's like a comic book store that doesn't do comic books. It's like a shop. It's like a shop, and they turned their um, shop into a uh, Harry Potter sanctuary sanctuary for the day, for the weekend, I think. Maybe the day. I didn't read too much into it. But uh, I took the girls there, and they absolutely loved it, including Jasmine. Um, the girls actually haven't seen Harry Potter, because I don't think it's an appropriate movie for, um, for young children. Uh, although Delilah has seen Back to the Future and Jurassic Park and all that, I think Harry Potter might be a little bit too uh, young for her, maybe. But Mia, she... Uh, I mean, she, she does get scared with movies like that, so we're holding off so they can both see them together. Hopefully in the next couple of months, it'll be great. But uh, this is yesterday morning. Angel! Blimey, Harry, didn't you ever wonder where your dad learned it all? Long more. Wizard Harry. I'm a what? You're a 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 wizard Harry. Wizard Harry. I'm a 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 wizard Harry. I'm a
wizard. I'm a wizard. You're a wizard. I'm a wizard. You're a wizard. to my favorite place. It's called the Empire Coffee Company. Last place that uh, took the girls was um, to the Newcastle Museum, and they have a paid exhibition at the moment, uh, which is an underwater theme. And if you've never been to the museum in Newcastle, I mean the Empire Coffee Company is just across from that. It's a, it's a little hidden, but uh, if you look it up on um, Google, you'll you'll definitely see how close they are together. The Newcastle Museum generally has free exhibitions, but this particular one is, uh, it, it costs $25 for the family, so two adults, two children. I'd highly recommend it because it was great. We spent maybe uh, three minutes in there. No, it was more like 25 minutes. It's like a dollar a minute. But they had fun. It's for children though. Don't know why the adults had to pay. I don't know why. And they had to pay more than the children. That doesn't make any sense. But uh, I'll leave you guys with this end footage of our time at that exhibition at the Newcastle or Newcastle Museum. Peace. It's the dream.
because we'll have to tell them that we're going out into a different area.